maybe before we even get into trading, let's go into some more trade inspiration. Maybe, you know, you're, you're looking for a symbol to trade or you want to go through a watch list. How can you do that? Well, first, either in the positions tab or watch list tab, in this case, I'm going to the watch list tab here. If you don't see it, you might need to go to more like we did earlier and adjust your column or adjust your, your bottom row there. But we can tap on watch list at the bottom. And now we're going to see the latest preset or watch list that we've created here listed. So right now we're looking at the technology watch list. Maybe we could tap on the top here. So you see where it says technology or under watch list. That's the name of the watch list in the drop down. You tap on this drop down at the top. We're tapping technology there. And now you see all the different watch list tabs. So maybe we tap on market indices and we're like, hey, I want to see all the symbols in the S&P 500. You could go tap on S&P 500 there. Now we're looking at the S&P 500 watch list and we can see all the symbols in the S&P listed in this watch list. So we also see a bunch of columns with applicable information on these symbols like last price, change in price for the day, market cap, the actual dollar amount change for each of these symbols, just looking at the underlying. But while you're in here, you can also go so we're in list view right now. You could go to grid too, just to have a, a slightly different view if you like to view it this way, uh, especially too, if you're checking out to see like, hey, what kind of symbols have earnings and dividends come coming up? Super easy to see that here um, if you are in the grid view instead of list. But then once you're in here, you can also tap on filter here in the top right. And we have additional settings in terms of either you want to filter by the earnings date. So maybe we want to filter all the symbols in the S&P 500 that have a earnings announcement in the next 30 days. So going from zero to 30 days, um, symbols with earnings coming up. I want to make sure also that their IV rank ranges from 30 to 70. So let me just clear that out real quick. So this is the earnings. I changed it from zero to 30. And then also we adjusted our IV rank range from 30 to 70 here, just with the little circles dragging and moving them around. And then also at the bottom here, we have liquidity rating. So this is a proprietary metric looking at options volume, outright volume, uh, open interest on these symbols for each of these expirations, um, You know how much liquidity is actually in the symbol. So <clears throat> based on a four-star rating, generally if it's four stars, it's pretty good liquidity. One star, not looking too good. So maybe we're thinking, okay, I just want to see symbols with a four-star liquidity. I'm just looking for a symbol to trade or a good opportunity. Let's do that. And then lastly, at the bottom too, there is a little sort function here where we can go, oh, I want to sort by alphabetical order maybe, or let's do IV rank. I want to sort in an IVR. We could tap IVR here at the bottom or, or any of these sort buttons. So once you've done that, and press on the X in the top. Let's do that. Now all of our columns here are getting filtered based on, so we saw we had a list of 500 symbols from the S&P 500 and based on all of the filters we just selected, we have about, what is that, uh, 10 or so symbols and we can uh, see some information about them. Again, last price, change price, market cap, um, currently, they should be filtered based on IV rank high to low. And you can see the actual IV rank numbers for each of these, or at least edit these columns by going into the edit button here at the top. And if you tap on edit there, uh, oops, actually, sorry, wrong, wrong button there. That's for actually editing. Uh, curated watch list got mixed up. If you actually tap on this gear icon, at the top, top of the watch list. So tap on this gear icon right there. You're gonna see now all the different columns we have listed. So we had multiple pages. I'll see show you how you can scroll pages, but uh, maybe we wanna see IV rank on our first page there, right next to last price and net change percent. Maybe also I wanna see the correlation to SPY. I have that on my third page, but I'm gonna drag and move it over to my first page there. And then these are just ones that I already had in my displayed section. But at the bottom, if you go edit table columns, you're going to see all the 
different additional columns you can potentially add to your watch list. So um, all the ones that you saw in that previous window have the green checkbox, but we could add in uh, a different one if we wanted to just by we want to bid and ask, we could tap on those two and then go save and reorganize. And that tosses on bid and ask right there. Awesome. Um, then once we're done, all you got to do is tap on back in the top left, tap on back, and you're going to see these changes here. So we're actually see, yes, indeed, it is being sorted by IV rank, currently CCL, negative IVR. Impressive, almost at zero. But uh, so that's how you can mess around in your watch list, kind of filter different symbols, find different symbols to trade. And you get a basic view of some of the data. Um, you know, if you put turn your phone sideways right now, I have my uh, screen locked, so it won't actually rotate. But uh, if you were to rotate it sideways, you're gonna get a lot more columns listed in this view. Also, you could switch to grid mode if you like that as well.